Hi there, and welcome to a tutorial on how to use your online portal. This is what the opening page will look like. It says welcome and your name. This is your dashboard with the big picture view of your studies. All the subjects you are registered for will be listed here under my learning on the right. Here you can see BA1 and BA2 and it will show you the progress you've made on each subject so far. To the left is the timeline that shows if you have any activities or assignments coming up. And the news and information section is here as well for any announcements. And on the gray bar, there are two distinct sections. Home, where we are now, and my learning. Let's go into what the forum looks like. This is your primary communication portal with your tutor and peers. Let's say you've watched a certain lecture and you have a question. Then you select add a new discussion topic. It's set up like an email and in here go into as much detail as possible and add attachments if you like. Your tutor will respond to you in a few hours. You can also see other queries and responses. You have a getting started tab, then step one to five and the achievement ladder steps which houses the solutions and debriefs for all the tests you do at each step. At the bottom you see the expiration date of your online course. Let's go into the meat of it. You can see your studies have been broken down into six steps. Let's see what's in step one. Here you can see the learning material and the test. Only take the test when you've gone through the learning material and before the due date. Let's look at the role of the finance function. Here you can see the chapter from your course book as well as a video lecture and a summary lecture. These lectures are pre-recorded so you can watch them anytime. The lecturer uses the same course book as the one you've got in front of you. This first chapter is really just an introduction to the paper. It looks at what businesses are trying actually to achieve and also how their behavior as they try to achieve their goals is affected by people who have an interest in the business so typically managers and, staff. and you can see the lecturer is annotating as he or she is lecturing this is of course just supplementing what you are already learning in your class with your classroom lecturer once you've watched this video you mark it off and it will show on your progress bar. Next, you can do the practice and apply questions that you can use to determine if you can move to the next section. The setup looks exactly like your online exam. It's got the same look and functionality so that you don't just test your knowledge, but also practice using the actual exam tool. This way, you work through all your steps and end up doing your final mock exam with the same look as your real exam. 